Other Nerds, Jimmy Bonquist here, and I'm going to give a little review on Unity number 25. Obviously, we hit number 25. It's a big deal, big issue. Things got to happen. I love the way Valiant handled this. Um, two of the bigger writers that I'm a fan of, James Asmus and Matt Kint, were in on this. Um, as a whole slew of writers, it was a, it was an event, but it was an event like any other, and that's what I love about Valiant. They're not stuck with the way things should be. Let's have a foil cover and extra things and a huge crossover, and at the end of the day, you're like, well, this isn't that awesome of a anniversary. This one, ha, awesome because it involves Quantum and Woody, and I love Quantum and Woody. As is typical, Woody lies to Quantum and takes him to a job. Which turns out to be Woody is just pitching some Hollywood execs on the idea that they should make a movie about Quantum and Woody. We immediately find out that they have zero interest in a movie on Quantum and Woody. And so Woody then goes into pitching an idea about Unity being a movie. And the time that he and Quantum joined up with Unity, which didn't really happen. It's, it's hilarious, it's Quantum and Woody all the way, but it's great how Unity gets wrapped into it, and there's a whole bunch of stories going on in this one book because it's all from the mind of Woody, who's obviously deranged. I loved it, I love the way they did it. It is so tongue in cheek, it is perfect Valiant Comics, Valiant Entertainment, it is just amazing, and it was Quantum and Woody who I love. So I highly, highly, highly recommend you check this out. It was a lot of fun. Unity number 25.